The release of Barbie got us thinking. Margot Robbie is amazing. What are the top five actresses under 35? Welcome to Top 5, a movie podcast. Let's go. All right. Welcome to Top 5. My name is Caesar. I'm here with Ralph. Ralph, how are you feeling about the Barbie movie? Ah, shit, man. I don't know. Mixed. I'm very mixed about this one. Um, I think it could be good. I think it could be very good. I just there's I'm a lot of a hard talent time seeing Ryan Gosling as Ken yeah. at sixty. So Ryan Gosling says something like, "We need Ken." I, I mean, I don't know about that, but um, there's a lot of talent involved. Yeah. Um, hopefully, it's not another bomb for Margot. Look, bro. I I'm just gonna be honest. With hot you. take. It's not a hot take. She has, she has, her movies when she's the the lead. More often than not, they bomb. Right at the box office. Mm -hmm. We could go through it. I don't want to do her like that. I don't know why this is happening. I think she's awesome. All right. But she does have a resume of bombs. I personally still think she's one of the best actresses in her age range right now. All right. But I wanted to make this list to see where she ranked and why she doesn't have like blockbusters that like blow up. It's all bombs, bombs, bombs. So, yeah. Top five women under, actresses under 35. Fair enough. This one was actually more fun to make than I originally anticipated. A lot of talent in this list. Yeah, there's a lot of talent. So, look, my breakdown is, is, is like this. 20% the charisma, all right? Mm -hmm. Like when they're on screen. Uh, like, for example, <laughs> no, I don't want to I don't want to flame these actresses, but like Kristen Stewart. She's, she's a good actress. Not a lot of charisma, right? Exactly. Not in my top five. 30% star power. So this is weird because we're starting this because of Margot Robbie. I, th I feel like she has a lot of star power. Mm -hmm. But then again, 70% of her movies don't do good in the box office. So I don't know. 20% range as an actress. Mm -hmm. You're playing the same role every time or you have range as self-explanatory. And 10% the resume. A couple of actresses on my list have an incredible resume. So that's why I put it there. What about you? Honestly, mine is based on... Um, okay. Mine are based on talent and range and just how much I enjoyed watching them on film. All right, cool. So let's start it off, bro. What's your number five? All right, my number five is going to be Anna de Armas. Okay, that's my number five. So let's talk about it. It is. Okay, perfect. Um, and, and hold on. Pause, Chris. If we fuck up in the ages, though, Anna de Armas, we check. We triple check that, right? I checked my age. She's 35. Yeah, I checked my age. Okay. There's two or three that are right on there. Okay, yeah. cool. So Anna de Armas. That's my number five. So let's talk about her. Yeah. Anna Armas, um, she's been killing it lately, right? Which is honestly why I think she makes the list over some of my honorable mentions. Um, is more because of her recent resume than anything. Um, yeah, same. I feel like she's 35, and she she's, does feel like she's starting to hit her stride right now, right? right. Like uh, James Bond, she showed yeah. she could do action. Um, Knives Out, yeah. she was awesome. And she's done a great job of selecting her roles, hasn't she? People love Blonde. I didn't. Yeah, like she, she, I didn't either. I wasn't a big fan, but she has done a good job of selecting her roles. And the one thing I will say about Blonde, though, it did show a side of her that we aren't seeing in these action movies. Right, right. So yeah, she definitely deserves to be in this top five, even yeah. though she almost didn't make it. Yeah, yeah. No, I like Anna Armas. That's my number five. I agree with that. Number four. My number four is Elizabeth Olsen. What? Yeah, I'll do it again. My number four is Elizabeth Olsen. Why? She's been killing it. She has too one lately. role. How does she? <laughs> yes. I, I She's look. fucking. Well, what is it? Magneto's daughter. What? What's her name? A Red Witch. Scarlet, Scarlet, Scarlet Witch. Witch. Scarlet Witch. That's her only role. Scarlet Witch. Scar She's been killing it. A Scarlet Witch. And you know what? There's been a lot of her in these Marvel movies, right? Yeah. Lately. So I just think she came out of nowhere, right? She was behind a really big shadow. Um, and she just managed to burst out into the limelight, and now she is the main Olsen sister right I, now. Yeah, she definitely is. I think she's really good. I don't think she has enough range to be in the top five. Okay. I mean, she did play That's like different, enough. different like versions of the character in that show, but like, I, I feel like I have to see her more. My number four honestly should be higher on the list, but she's not. Real quick before you get to number four, yeah, though, she does have that TV show. That I saw her in late yeah, recently. Yeah, the, the HBO show? I forget the name of it right now off the top of my head. Um, um, but she shows a lot of range in that, too. So What's the name of that show, Chris? Just so we don't look stupid. Uh, Love. Love and Death. Yeah, there you go. Love and Death. Okay. Oh, I don't even want to see that, bro. 
she does have that love and death that just came out on HBO where she shows a lot of range. I'm liking what I'm seeing from it already too. So she, yeah. she's much more than just Scarlet Witch. She is, but I feel like we need to let her resume grow a little. That's bit. why she's number four. Speaking of number four of resume, I feel like this actress could be higher up, but she's not on my list, my personal list. But Cersei, Cersei Ronan, Cersei, right? That's how you pronounce it. Cersei Ronan. It's a great actress. All right, um, she has a lot of great movies. I love Lady Bird. I think, um, speaking of, of Greta Gerwig doing Barbie, Greta Gerwig did Lady Bird. I think that's where she peaked, sadly. She's also in Little Women, which I didn't like, but I like Cersei. I think she's one of our best actresses right now. Okay, fair enough. What's your number three? Chloe Grace Moretz. What? <laughs> Bro, what are we doing here? She hasn't been. What was the last? I haven't seen her in. I don't care. I, don't I haven't care. seen her since Kick Ass, bro. What the care. fuck has she done? Look, I, everything I've ever seen her doing in, she kills it. No, she doesn't. She absolutely kills it. Let me in. Fantastic. Ever since I've seen her in that, I've followed her, and she doesn't miss. Was she the one that did And now Carrie? she's in Peripheral also. She did right? Carrie. She, it, yeah. what's, is that what the show's called? Peripheral? Yeah. She's in Peripheral also, so she's she's coming back. I know she's been gone for a little bit. But look, she has never disappointed. Never. She's pretty good, but she she's got a lot of she talent. When she was 12, she may right? have, but let's see. She's on her resurgence. All right, bro. And she's got more talent than maybe all the rest of the girls on this list. All right. Look, listen. This is going to get dicey now because I, I for sure we're not going to have the top the same top three. My number three is Zendaya, bro. How she's, can you not have Zendaya on your list? She's bro? an honorable mention. Oh, my God, bro. Mention. Number one, look, she has the star power for sure. Right. She has the star power. She has the range. All right. She definitely has the charisma. I've seen her in roles where she's a fucking crackhead. Yeah. I've seen her in roles where she's like this innocent girl. She has timing to be funny. She's in fucking Dune. Yeah. Bro, Sandea could be higher up on my list. The only problem is my, my top two are undeniable. You're not wrong. Honestly, you're not wrong. She has it all. You're Sandea has it she, all. She could have easily been on this list. Um, she was one of the two that I argued with um with Anna de Armas. The other one was Anya Taylor Joy. Okay. You know, those were the two that I kind of went back and forth with. I ended up going with Anna de Armas just because of recency bias, yeah, probably. Yeah. I, I think um, with Anna, you, you're also projecting. Like she has a lot of roles lined yeah, up that are gonna exactly. be. Exactly. Like, but no, you're not. You're not wrong. Zendaya could have easily been on this on this one, and I always forget the name. Um, but the one she did with um, with um, John David Washington. That's what we got Chris for. Yeah, that's the Netflix movie. Who was it? John David, Malcolm. Malcolm and Marie. Malcolm and Marie. There you go, Malcolm and Marie. I think that's the best Zendaya we've got. It. She has. She range. absolutely killed it in that role. So you're absolutely right. I don't see any argument when putting her on this top five. All right. What's next? Your number two. My number two. My number two is Margot Robbie. Okay. Break okay. it down. I love Margot Robbie, right? She has to be right now our biggest female star. I think she is. Um, even with all the, you know. The bombs. All the box office bombs. Should we go through all the bombs? Go through them. The thing about Margot, bro, is she has the star power. I feel like everybody that loves movies knows her, right? But the reality is if you go through her IMDb, look, I'm going to go through it right now. And we can go one by one. She has like a 70% hit rate, which is not great. Yeah. Okay, but isn't it interesting though? Why? Why is it? Why is that? Because you have her too. Yeah. Why? Why do her movies not do that good? Let's okay. look at his latest, uh, her latest movies before, before Barbie. And I'm just gonna mention like the the ones that were supposed to do great. Mm -hmm. Babylon. Yeah. Bomb. Mm -hmm. Amsterdam. Fucking came and went. Nobody even cared. The yeah. movie has Christian Bale. Yeah. All right. The Suicide Squad. I'll forgive her because it was like a stream release. All right. Birds of Prey, bomb. Bombshell, bomb. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, success. All right? You can't fail with yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, at that point, it's Tarantino. We keep going. She does a lot of TV stuff. Um, Peter Rabbit. We're, I'm not going to count that. I, Tanya, amazing movie. Bomb. Yeah. The original Suicide Squad. Bomb. Yeah. The Legend of Tarzan. Don't even fucking get me started, bro. We got to start somewhere, right? Focus. Like, bro, how many bombs is she going to have? Yeah. But she's still considered one of our best actresses. Here, Chris. But yeah, I, I mean, I don't, I don't disagree with your ranking. My number two, this is, she probably one of the biggest stars here, Emma Stone. Ooh, honorable mention. What? Yes. Bro, she has a, a crazy resume, though, bro. She has, like, a lot of bangers. Mm -hmm. She has a lot of bangers. Um, La La Land is the most obvious one. Right. She's also on the Spider-Man franchise. Yeah. She's a big movie star. Yeah. 
Um, we have also, I first saw her in Superbad, which feels like forever ago. So she's been at it for a while. Yeah. And Emma Stone's great. Look, a lot of these are interchangeable, right? It's yeah, hard to rank. Them. I agree. It's hard to rank them. But my number one, and I, it's very different from the rest of my list because there's no recency bias in this one. My number one is Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, I figured. Jennifer Lawrence for me was number one. I mean, first of all, I mean, I, she has the most star power. I want to say that everybody that you possibly she's 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 also a better actress in my opinion than Margot Robbie, right? And she doesn't bomb. So that alone puts her she, ahead of Margot Robbie quiet for lately, me. Though, right? She has been quiet, but I mean that's fair, right? She had her moment. She blew yeah, up, and and she can still have it when she decides to, you know. Well, look, do I don't have her else. on my list. I think I think I might as well just say my number one right now, so we could argue it. And also, I'm a little bit biased on Jennifer Lawrence because I just love to see her interviews. What a personality! She has a great personality, but yeah. I don't know. I don't have her on my list. My number one is Margot. Yeah, I, I I just find I just find it shocking that her movies do bad after you destroyed her. But she yeah, okay. is so good, dude. Like she is. First she of all, is. she does it all. She she's good in like comedy. Yeah. She's good in like regular acting. She's good in drama. Wolf of Wall all right? Street. She's obviously beautiful. She has the star power because that's why yeah. they keep fucking casting her. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Now it's the Barbie. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I don't understand what the problem is, what the disconnect is. I feel like nobody minds. Like it's not like people see, oh, it's Margot Robbie. I'm not gonna watch this movie. But also, people don't fucking care. I guess. Yeah. Bad timing, maybe. She has she picks great roles. Yeah. She picks different roles. Like she goes out there. That's why I couldn't put Emma Stone first because I don't I don't know if she she has that range that Margot has. Emma Stone has range. J Law is is she's probably the most popular one because The Hunger Games is so famous. But I don't know. I'm, hmm. Everything she's done does good, man. I feel like she's the same person every time. <sighs> That's rough, but hey, maybe you're right. <laughs> maybe I'm just being biased on the fact that I love Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's what it is. All right, guys, give us your top five in the comments and let us know what you think about our lists. I think a pretty similar list, but I think um, there's Like room. I said, this is a very interchangeable list. All these women have immense talent yeah, I agree. Um, and a lot of potential, and I can't wait to see what they do in the future. I agree. All right, guys, see you in the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening to Top 5. See you next time. <laughs>